From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. All right, this was a time lapse just out to the west of Tulsa, just kind of uh, in the south, uh, Tulsa County area in West Tulsa, then going into Northern Creek County. We just did that for about 45 minutes. You can see uh, the rain shaft there, and then you see another area of rain that was falling as well. So there's vertical development, warm, moist air shooting up into the sky, so that's considered an updraft. Then it gets cooled off, then it comes back down to the ground. So you'll see that rain there, and then you'll see a rain curtain develop right in this area right here and see it coming down the ground. Sometimes you get some strong, gusty winds with that, sometimes. We won't. All right, so here's what's going on. We're taking a look at where it did rain over the last 24 hours. Here's Oklahoma. Here's Texas. Hardly eh, nothing in Texas. But we've been really spotty and in southeast Kansas a little bit. Southwest Missouri kind of lucked out northwestern Arkansas and a little bit south of uh, Little Rock. But again, when you have spotty stuff like that, you say it's good or you have a 40% chance of rain. Great, but, uh, you know, your neighbor gets an inch and you get absolutely nothing except dust blowing off of the uh, thunderstorms. So we did have the rain up in Bartlesville. We also had scattered storms south. We had the rain to the north. We also had a band that came right through an area near uh, Eufaula. Eufaula has been interesting because it hasn't rained a ton, but when we had the storms in Bartlesville around the noon hour into about one o'clock, um, we ended up with some wind that was blowing and going, and we did have several reports, and we did have some pictures. Sarah sent this picture, and again, that's just one of uh, several. Here's the McAllister shot, again, kind of similar to a video I was just showing you. This is from Michael. And just to let everybody know, that was actually rain. I don't know if it's rain in McAllister enough for you to remember what rain looked like. Uh, Pittsburgh County has been hit hard, along with McIntosh County, Hughes County, but at least there was some showers and storms around, something we haven't seen for two months. And so it has been kind of an active pattern to the uh, southwest Missouri side. And this system is going to track south and southwest a little bit, so there's a chance we're going to get some rain from Tahlequah to the east tonight, and hopefully that can build back west a little bit. Since a tenth of an inch of rain, most of the, the, when you had one rain just at one time, uh, it's been from McAllister to the west where we've, uh, into Hughes County where we didn't have much, and so it's been kind of interesting. But around Lake Eufaula, here's Eufaula, Lake Eufaula, we had spotty rain in several areas to the north, nothing to the south. I mean, there's just spots, and I mean, ten hundredths of an inch doesn't mean much. Half inch is nice. I mean, it's better than nothing. So we're not going to complain. But as of yet, it's still 58 days since we've had a quarter inch of rain at our site near Eufaula on our mesonet side. I mean, that's like two months. And that goes on into southwestern Oklahoma. So it has not been a good picture. We've had the rain across the north and east, you know, in the last 10 to 12 days. Uh, and so we've had some pretty good rains in a few areas. But any you get from McAllister into the southwest, it has not been all that great. And that's two months, not just a month. That's two months. And it's the worst, hottest time of the year. And what do we see coming up? Up, not a whole lot. Uh, we do see a few spotty areas of showers and storms tomorrow and maybe tomorrow night. The burn bans we mentioned, Tulsa County has been added. You do not burn uh, because that would be illegal and it's also dangerous. That also goes down to McIntosh, Pittsburgh counties, extending on over to Haskell County, Muskogee, Okmulgee counties, Hughes, and then also our northeastern tier counties as well, along with Kansas border areas. So that's what we're dealing with right now. And we're talking about our chance of rain are spotty once again. Uh, at best for the next 24 hours. Slight chance Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then that's about it there. The good news is that we are not doing too bad temperature-wise, but then the bad news is it gets hot, and then there's some more good news. Jet stream's changing, so that'll knock our temperatures back down as we get on into about eight to 10 days out, so that'll help out. So there is some welcome news there, but in the meantime, it's muggy, 88, heat index 93, 10 o'clock, it's August. Our temperatures generally ranging in the 80s at this hour, and I thought they'd be a little bit cooler, but not really. We've had a little bit more cooler air down at McAllister and Poto area. That's good. Tonight through the morning, our slight chance of storms across areas to the east, and so that's our hope, and that's our only model that's really showing that. And in the afternoon, it's hot with temperatures still in the 90s and steamy hot with heat index values above 100. 76 and a chance of a few isolated showers or storms, mainly east or southeast uh, through the morning hours and a slight chance around Tulsa to the east and southeast. And then just hot in the afternoon with isolated thunderstorms. Again, don't get mad at your neighbor if they get an inch of rain and you have dust blowing. <laughs> but it's very possible that, that could happen. And then uh, we just have to make it through because there's another big shot of hot air coming in as we go through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. Then we kind of get knock it down a little bit with maybe a few storms. But still, we need some rain bad. We need more, we do. don't yes. we? Like a concentrated, Not, mm -hmm. yes. It's, it's hurting.